Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome back to Train Simulator. Today we're having a look at more of the Ashford to Lille route with the Class 373. This is known as the Eurostar and it's a classic um, Eurostar train. They've since replaced them or started to replace them with the E320, which is also known as the Class 374. There's lots of different names for these trains, but today we're going to be doing a Calais to Lille route. So yeah, there's lots of different names for all these trains. They've like renamed them to kind of rebrand the Eurostar thing to E and then a number, um, which is kind of weird, but I can understand why they'd want to do that. Um, for me, though, I, I prefer they just keep like this class something because that makes sense to me. It's like a uniform kind of um, naming system. But anyway, look at this. Hello, you will drive this train to Lille Europe TGV. You have a stop at Calais Freffen. I don't have to say that. Please pick up passengers before departing. Have a good trip. So look at this train designed in the 90s, started service in 1993. I think it's aged really well. Exterior looks good. We haven't got an interior uh, cabin view, but we have not got cabin. We haven't got an interior passenger view, but we have got an interior cockpit. Um, now, again, this train has a very, very, very complicated um, startup procedure. So let's have a look. So we are underneath. We're not. We haven't got third rail. I think this is just standard sort of classic main line. Okay, here we go. So U to turn on the lights inside. Z to turn on the master switch. There we go. Move the pantograph section to N position, which is this thing here, N. Um, move the power selection dial to BR. Well, BR, that one, first position, okay. Uh, turn on the circuit breaker with shift and O. There we go. Uh, arm the circuit breaker by pressing and holding for O for two seconds. The lights on the icon display, which is over here, should disappear apart from a few. Uh oh. That's not working, is it? Right, I think I might have got the... Let's go F on this. See if that does anything. Yes, F worked. Okay, right. So... Move the reverser to forward position by pressing W. Let's do that. Um, press E to move speed control setting to the neutral position. Done. Uh, deactivate KV... No, hang on. Yeah, deactivate KVB by control and K. I don't know how to do that. I'll just do it on here. KVB, Vacman, no. Off. Um, deactivate Vacma. Off. Release the brakes and increase the throttle to move off. Okay. Oh, hang on. I needed to get the passengers on. So that was nearly a fail. Now, we were supposed to set off here two minutes ago. So that's not good. Uh, we've got to go to three stations today. We're going to Lille, Europe, which is where? 108 kilometers away. Okay, that's good. That is a long way away. We might be a bit like, like a couple of minutes late. Oh, there's me. Wow, he's low down. That's not right, is it, surely? Surely he doesn't have to be that low down. Come on. Okay. I think... I think we're okay. Ding, ding. Yep. I think we're okay. I don't know where the signal is for me. Uh, oh, hang on. Yep, we passed it and it was green. Perfect. Now, for some reason, when I, was play when I tried this train before, it was going, like, sort of up to 20 and then started to slow down. So is it going to do it again? No. I've got the setup right. We are on classic main lines, and then I'm going to have to change things for the... Uh, depending on whether it's a high-speed line or has third rail, so where we get the track... Sorry, where we get the power from a third rail on the track or high voltage overhead lines. Okay, here we go. So 60. Is the speed limit coming up? Let's just coast a second. We've got different views. Okay, we can sit here, which is not that great. VMAX, 300 kilometers per hour, 186 miles per hour. So we're not gonna take this through the tunnel today. We're just gonna go straight from Calais, which is here past the um, Euro Tunnel Terminal, which is what we looked at in another video last time, and down to here, Lil. 60. Yes, perfect. 
And we will, I think we will need to change over to a different... That has now, the, the automatic warning system has stopped now, which is good. Yeah, we will need to change over to a different system of power delivery, I suppose is what you'd call it. Now, somebody told me last time that in the um, normal, I sorry, in the class, what is it, the class 6,000 or 9,000? I don't know, the 9,000, that was it. The um, Eurotunnel shuttle trains, the window is so small to stop drivers getting kind of... Um, I don't know, I don't know what they, they described it as hypnotised. It was hypnotised by the lights in the tunnel as they go past, which I think is really cool. But it does mean that this small window is now terrible for when you're out here in the world. You can't see round corners. Um, you know, it's not great, is it, really? But here we are, we're driving through the centre of Calais. That, I think, is quite a famous sort of church, maybe, or something. I don't know, really. Um, if we look around, I mean, Calais... Yeah, it's, there's a, quite a bit here. Um, I will, of course, leave a link to this uh, DLC route and the DLC uh, train in the description below. Here we go, we're passing a station. Now, I wonder what kind of trains they use for the local routes around here. Because uh, I doubt they're going to use the, the um, Eurostar. Or maybe they do. Maybe they do. I don't know. So, yeah, this is now being replaced by the E320, which is also known as the Class... Uh, 374, which I said in the start of the video, and it's kind of a sleeker look, but principally the, the principle, uh, principally the principle, uh, great words, um, is the same. They're either like the European equivalent of a bullet train, I suppose. It's the closest thing we have. Um, of course, Germany had the ice trains, and Britain basically doesn't have very many um, really fast trains, do they? Although we do have HS1, which looks quite similar to this. Um, and then HS2, which is quite a controversial infrastructure project that may or may not be happening. Nobody really knows. But yeah, I love the Eurostar. It's such an iconic train. Probably one of the most iconic European trains of recent years. Mm -mm. And you know what? It's, it accelerates incredibly quickly. So this is £14.99, this DLC, and it is very much a shame that you can't go into the passenger view. Um, although, to, wow, look at that. It's looking, it's looking a little bit flat, but remember, this is generally this is cheaper than a, um, a uh, Dovetail Games route that, they're, that, they're made, that will be made. Sorry, um, This is £19, this route. So, um, and also, I think it's just one or two people making it. At least one or two, at least one person that makes it and then one person that administrates the um, website and all that. So yeah, I don't think it's that bad. There's a car, but I mean yeah, there's cars driving around the roads. Here's the Euro Tunnel place, which we failed to stop at last time. Um, we'll have a quick look over there. It is here. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We failed to stop here, but we can have a look now. All included in the route. And then somewhere over here, over there, is the Euro Tunnel. Now we're going up a hill, so I think we will slow down quite quickly. Um, we're actually not going to be that late. We only need to be there at 9.53 and it's currently 8.20, so... What was that noise? I don't know. Now we need to hold down, a, I think it's spacebar when we get onto the main line to make sure that the automatic brakes don't enable. It's kind of like a dead man's switch. And I think the system is called VACMA. Yeah. It's called VACMA. Oh, my car disappeared. But here we are, Calais Freffen. Calais, I guess, secondary station. It's like, it's like it's in the middle of nowhere, to be honest, but um, I've never been here. I've only been to the Eurotunnel, and then we, we don't really stop in Calais. We only stop, stop maybe once or twice. Yeah, we, we're slowing down so quick going up this hill. Wow, look at that. That's cool. 
we're, we're on time. That's perfect. We've actually made up time. Okay, good. Wow, big, very clear, big um, speed indication, speed signs, speed limits. Okay. I wish that all the routes had those. Right, brakes. We've got quite a long train today. So we need to be careful of that. I think also the TGV goes in this line, which is what these signs mean here. Whoa, that bridge. Everyone's standing far enough away from the platform, which is good. Sometimes in this game they stand way too close. Oh, full service. Come on, full service. That will do. There we go. And the doors are, more, are all modelled, which is cool. People are actually getting off, like, properly. That's quite cool. I've not seen that in this game before. Usually they just appear. Um, wow, a lot of people as well. Whoa. They, they do look creepy. The new game, Train Sim World, has a lot better looking people. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah. It's just where they connect. Okay. Doors are closing. The light is green. We're going to go. I hope. There we go. Release the brake. It's a winter's day at 12, so it's, it's quite dark, isn't it? What's that there? Man the guns, join the... Is that a movie? Or are they literally telling people to man the guns at Pearl Harbor? Anyway. Here we go. Out into the French countryside. All the way to Lille. I mean, it's actually over there. It's been to do with some kind of turn at some point. Um, right. Cab. What does that mean? Right, we've got a couple of signals coming up. That one's green in the next one. What is that road there? Oh. That's crazy. That's too steep, surely. Right, I think now we've joined... Yeah, we've joined the next section, which is a overhead line high speed. So, we've got to do a few things. Right. Pantograph to N. HS. HS. Yep. Um, TVM. Shift J. Oh, goodness. Uh-oh. We don't want that to happen. Uh, no, not Shift J. So then... Circuit Breaker. There you go, that's done. Uh, next, we've got to do... Uh, I don't know what we've got to do, actually. Let me read this. This is so complicated. Um, t let's, act let's activate it again, actually. Ooh! That's, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, for some reason, it stopped the train. Okay. We're not on a third rail. Right. Vacma. Vacma on, maybe? No, it's, it's, only, it's only moving when I'm pushing the thing forward. Which is strange. Um... Okay, let's try a different one. Let's go... Um, if the... 
<laughs> this is so complicated. Why did I make this this complicated? Come on. Uh, right, shift J off. 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 Could it be BR? No. HS? No. GB? BR. Wow, I'm so bad at this. Uh, there you go, I fixed it. It was the... Right, got it. It was the speed control. Of course it was. And now we're going. Okay. So, disaster averted. The train doesn't feel very fast, but whatever. That's fine. We've got 300 um, kilometer per hour speed limit, and we only lost a couple of minutes there with me fumbling around with the controls. So yeah, I am a noob, and these controls are impossible. Again, looking a little bit flat. It is winter, so maybe it would look a bit different in the summer. But somehow, I doubt it though. There is, I mean, there's no real trees around. Um, they did say they would patch it in the future, like they would, you know, improve a bit of this maybe. Which is nice, and also this is, I think, their first route since the um, TGV route they did. But let me have a quick look. Have they posted? Yes, okay. No, they haven't, they haven't talked about the patch yet. Anyway, here we go. We're now going pretty fast. Which is cool. So let's talk a bit more about the Eurostar. So... They've got lots of different main stations. They're, they're, so they go from London St. Pancras, and I think they used to go from Waterloo, which is quite cool. Um, it's actually owned jointly by the um, French government, or the National Railway of France, SNCF, which is quite cool. Um, and yeah, so it's been in operation since 1994. This is really quick, actually. This is really quick. We're doing 300 already. Wow. We're going to be there in no time. I actually think that this um, route's estimated time of 40 minutes is rubbish. Unless I'm missing something here, we are going to be there in 20 minutes. Not, not 30 from now, which is cool. See, so yeah, I hope that um, I can help you if you're struggling like me. Like me, you're struggling with the um, setup of this train. What I said at the start of the video and just now, um, when I struggled when the train stopped after emergency braking, you can follow what I did and then just... Uh, if you get out of a situation like that. Yeah, I just pressed E to increase the speed control. But we're, and we're going fine now, so... Speeding. Okay. Yes. Look at this. Oh. That's such an iconic noise as well. The Eurostar makes this icon like, iconic noise when it passes. Like, woo, 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 woo. Ready? And they have absolutely captured that perfectly. If you if you look up, no, not now, but after the video, look up footage of uh, the Euro Eurostar like passing. It's so cool. And why isn't this a? Why do we have to rely on a third-party developer to bring this to Train Sim? This should have been in Train Sim for years now. I mean, it is a bit complicated. This, the problem with this uh, DLC is it doesn't have a tutorial. And it really needs it. So, 82 kilometres away. Where's the next signal? 
I think the signals are automated and they come up on here if they're red. I mean, I'd prefer to have a proper signal, but whatever. I think that's what the TVM system is. You just get these like yellow triangles and that's it. So 300 is the max. But how fast do you think this thing could go? Probably 400? Maybe. So yeah, the horn. Same as the class 9000 that we tried. The wipes are cool. Now why are there two? Is it in case one breaks? Because they won't work together, or will they? I don't know. Where's the wiper controls? There. No, that's main wiper. Let's have a look. Is there... Um, another wiper control? Wiper, 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 wiper. Wipers on, off. No. There's a desk light. Which is... Where is that? Oh, what did I just miss? What did I just hear? Oh, okay. I was looking down, I thought I missed a train passing, but it was just a it was just the noise of a crane. Um it, what is I, I don't know what, what this is pointing to. I've got like a diagram of the um cockpit and I don't know what eight is pointing to. Eight. No, no idea. I'm not going to push that because, or well, maybe I am. Is that a spit? S oh, I don't know what that means. Ah, circuit breaker. There you go. That's all that was. Good. Hopefully, we we make it without having to come to a complete stop again. Look at this thing. How cool is this? Can't believe I'm doing this in this game. Finally, after all these years. I remember like being a kid and playing um, the original Microsoft Train Sim. And this was what I wanted to do. This is the kind of thing I wanted to do. And, then, and the only thing that's missing now from Train Sim, I think, is like a Japanese bullet train. Of all the routes and places in the world, there's, J Japan is not covered, covered enough. I mean, we've got Chinese high-speed high trains, we've got, well, there aren't many American. We've got the Amtrak one. Um, Germany. And we've got London to Faversham. So why can't we get a Japanese bullet train route? I know, I know there are games for it, but not in main train sim. At least, not that I know of. So if there is, please let me know. We're really motoring now. Should we see how fast this thing can go? That's 340. We are doing this around a corner, which isn't good. I'm, I'm a bit worried now, actually. Let's not do that. 350, and it did that with ease. Let's use the retard, or I like to call it, which somehow slows the train down. I don't know how it actually does that with this, because it isn't really a retarder, so to speak. Yeah, let's not let's not go that fast. Just gently slow down. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of like these windmills being built on this map, which is pretty cool. But I uh, don't know why they're all being built rather than actually in operation. So yeah, if this was a dovetail route, they'd probably put more effort into the things beside the track. But I'm sure that this is pretty realistic. It's just not very detailed in a way. There's a little... Where is that scooter going? Oh, it's not moving. Wow.
creepy. Um, and this car is like floating, but yeah, you know, you're not going to go up and, and see that unless you're me. I'd like to nosy around the whole map. What? Uh, that's a bit weird. Why is the sheep next to these construction workers? Um, anyway, I think they're like building a bridge here or something. I don't, I don't really know. Right, we're going downhill now. So we need to be careful. Right, we're going to come up with another circuit breaker time. Uh, yeah, the retarder thing is actually working really well. Circuit breaker. There you go. Just hold O and it seems to work fine after that. Here we go. Still 50 kilometers away, but we are making up the miles so quick. So you can do a journey from all the way from um, Ashford on this route to Lille, which is over 170 kilometers, I think. Um, and that includes the middle of the tunnel, all of that. So, yeah, I could do that. Uh, it would be a long journey. Some sheep and cows in the same field. And here's a little branch line joining us. That's cool. Where does that go? Anywhere? Oh, it's barely... Nah, it's barely even... Goes like a kilometre away. Okay. A few sidings over here, which is pretty cool, I guess. If there's a problem with a train, they bring it over here to stop the line clogging up. I know that in the 90s, when in the Euro Tunnel, when they had a fire, all they did is they closed off one of the whole tunnels that was like the affected tunnel and had, only had trains running in one of them. So the capacity was reduced because they had to wait for a train to go all the way through before they could send another one back. Um, but yeah, I guess the dream was to connect the whole of Europe up. Maybe you could... I mean, now you can take a train from London or wherever to the Netherlands, Belgium, France, maybe even into Germany. Or, and you don't have to get off the train. So that's really cool. Oh, circuit breaker. I very much hope that we are obeying the signals and that I'm, I haven't missed something that allows me to see what signals um, we've got. I mean, to be honest, it just seems to be this automated system that will automatically stop us, and that's basically it. Um, I'm really not an expert with the TVM system, and to be honest, when I tried it on the Marseille to, um, is it Leon route that, that's also in this game? It uh, was so much simpler in that. There was actually a tutorial in that to tell you how to use it, so maybe I should go back and do that before I play more of this route with this train. And of course, that's a much more modern TGV train, so it's probably got more advanced or simpler a more advanced but simpler to use um, controls. So, so are these things here like for cooling purposes? These panels? Because I assume that all of this in here is like power generation or whatever power capture from here and then it goes down here and sends it to the wheels with the big motors and stuff and then it needs a lot of cooling like most electric vehicles do technical terms eh? I know I know my stuff I know my stuff <laughs> somebody said once uh, on a video you have enough railway knowledge to fill a thimble 
which is a um, pretty quaint thing to say, to be honest. But, you know, there you go. Uh, I, I suppose they are right. I suppose they're right. It says here on the Wikipedia page, During the night of 18th to 19th December 2009, there was heavy snow causing widespread disruption to roads, railways and, and airports across Europe. Five trains um, of, the, of this class of TG, uh, not TGB, Eurostar, broke down inside the Channel Tunnel because snow in the engine compartment was melted by warmer temperatures in the tunnel. The resulting uh, water causing electrical and control system faults. And there you go, they had to like change the design of the train to uh, prevent snow getting into the electrical compartments, which is, you know, something you definitely don't want to happen. And it says here that uh, they can have between about 500 and 800 seats on one of these, which is quite a lot. Okay, we've got another circuit break of time. Got to pre prepare to hold O. There you go. And we're fine. Surprisingly, I'm managing to deal with it okay. Before, I was really struggling to just even drive. Um, oh, hang on. Where are we going? That's where we're going, okay. Destination 4, what does that mean? Final Destination 4? No idea. Is this it? Here we come. Yes. Wow, look at the speed it goes. Yeah, it's here. I don't know what that is. Um, and it looks like... What is what is that? It's not a third rail, is it? Obviously, because it's way too far away, but... Yeah, I'm not sure. Whoa. As I sped up there, the train really shook. Now, what is that? That's pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is the... There's the horn. Oh, you can't interact with a horn. Oh, you can. That's cool. Are there, like, any signs by the track that I'm missing that say, like, whistle? Because I haven't seen one yet. Wow, we're pulling quite a few G going around this corner. This is a long banked corner. Look at that. If we speed up here, we probably fall off the tracks, and we're not going to do that. Do not want to derail when we're only 10 kilometers away. Oh, we're coming up. This is cool. We're so nearly there. I'm glad because I was really thinking I was too stupid to even drive this route. Like, I was really struggling. Um, and you can see how quick that this kind of thing, this kind of transport makes it to drive between, or to get between um, somewhere like Calais and Lille. And even the longer journeys. I mean, planes are great, right? But you have to sit around at the airport for so long check-in, security, all that. Especially in these times with, you know, then you've got um, then you've got the COVID restrictions on top of that, which slow things down even more at the airport. And you'd have that on a train, but much less, right? You don't have to wait around as much for a train as you do for a plane. Um, so, the argument a lot of people say is that, yeah, planes fly three times as fast, but the amount of time you spend in an airport waiting to get on the plane... Um, oh my goodness. Brakes, please. 
When did that speed limit come in? Uh, okay. Okay. The amount of time you spend waiting for a plane um, would mean that it would take longer to take the plane in total than it would for a train on the same route. And that's the argument a lot of people are using at the moment to say um, invest in, you know, trains again. For the first, like massive infrastructure products in trains, especially in Britain, um, where we haven't really had much infrastructure investment in planes for, for a long time. All the money's been put into roads and stuff. That's the argument, anyway. I, I mean, I'd be interested to see what you think. But um, in terms of simulation games, yeah, I love driving um, trains and planes in equal measure. Yep. We're way early. Which is good. Wow, look at this road here. Okay, here we go. We're coming up to it. Whoa. Oh, I thought it had sunk. But it's like a canal boat. Oh, it's more detailed inside than it is outside. That's funny. Okay. Here we go. Coming into Lil. So yeah, for um, you made it to the end of the video, and I just like to say. Uh, come and join my Discord server because it's um, December, at, well, December 2021 um, when I'm recording at the moment. And at the moment, we've got a couple of giveaways on my Discord server. Um, so if you join that and then go and have a look in the giveaways channel, you can win a um, key for. I think the first gi giveaway is Kerbal Space Program. The second one, I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be an equally cool little simulation game Steam code. Uh, so yeah. But yeah, we I had fun on this route. Just wanted to remind you of something that's going on related to this channel since you've made it to the end of the video. Right, I think we're going to go left, so I'm going to break. Yep. Look at this underground station. Is that like the outside world over there, or what is that? Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that out there. Yeah, look at this. Wow, look at this station. That's a cool station, to be fair. Um, I'll have a quick look at that when we stop. There you go. Perfect. There we go. Doors are open. I can't look outside the train, which is annoying. Um, so that's pretty much it. Here we are. We've arrived at Lil Station. And for some reason, this is ticking across so slowly, and I reckon it's because the person that created this mission is because uh, they have set the arrival time to that, and this will last all that time. So what I'm going to try and do now... Oh, we can't move at all. Can we? We can't move at all. So we did actually complete this mission, but um, not quite the ending I wanted to have. I wanted to look outside the train, really. But yeah, that was the Class 3... What is it? 373, that's it. Class 373. On the uh, Calais to Lille... What? We did complete it success successfully. Okay, whatever. Um, on the... Um, 
<laughs> AHS, Ashford to Lil Root, and we drove from Calais to Lille. So yeah, the game failed me once more, but I think we did pretty well there. Six, seven miles travel, that was fun. So yeah, I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content from my channel, and check out these videos to see more simulation gaming on Simulator Adventures.